In one of my previous videos, I did an unboxing of the what they call the QAV250, which is now called the FPV250. This is the frame, and I have since put it together. It has RCX motors on it, NAS32 board, and a receiver, and three blade propellers. Anyway, it's pretty awesome. But recently, there's been a lot of debate about the Blackout clones, which is what this is. Just came today. And I was going to show you what it looks like when you whoops, when you buy it from Banggood. I've opened this up and it comes with a bag of all the pieces and instructions. It's pretty good. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to... There's been a lot of debate about the quality of this build versus the original blackout that it was designed after. And so I'm really hoping that the blackout is substantially better than this because the blackout's over $100 and this was $35. But it has a lot of the same parts you can tell as the blackout does. Even has the little uh, standoffs. But here I got this caliper and I was going to measure how thick these... Um, how thick these arms were because that seems to be a lot of the contention while wow, they look thick let's see I got it in let me tar it up to zeroed out real quick there it's zeroed and these things are coming in at 303 that's good they're three millimeter just like the uh, blackout ones this is coming in at well, almost one and a half and let's see if we can get a good close-up view of this how it looks. Eh, it doesn't look too bad. Now, I don't have a blackout frame. My friend does. So hopefully I can get um, together with him and have him do a comparison because he uh, loves blackouts and has flown several of their different frames. He has a camera mount. That's good. It comes with the red hardware and the uh, black rubber pieces, the dampeners, and the standoff plate is, yeah, here's the standoff plate too. It's good. Glad it's in there. Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, little black rubber dampeners. Has a few lock washers in there. And the red hardware, which is nice. And some screws. Anyway, this is what it looks like. Let me see if I can put some of this together. It's also important to note that on the, uh, back of this paper are the high level instructions on how to put together and I hope you understand Japanese or Chinese writing whatever this is in. Uh, also they call this the mystery FH250 mini FPV quadcopter. The mystery. <laughs> nice. Please tell me I'm not the only person who feels like they have to separate everything before they get started. Uh, if you were wondering all these arms are all the same length. They're all exactly the same so it doesn't matter which ones go on front or which ones go on back good my step one looks like there's step one and now this is what step two looks like so the top plate is on which i think is part of step three it's supposed to be right here but we got step one step two no step three we got a four five seven <laughs> those poor kids in china don't know how to count in english Anyway, no, no six. Next one's with the little rubber uh, dampeners on and the plate, and then should be done. There must be some trick to getting these dampeners through this little plate because for the life of me, I cannot get this thing, I cannot get all these on there at the same time. Congratulations to those of you who can. Step four is putting the dampeners on. Step five is putting the plate on. And step seven, because we skipped, we skipped step six, is putting these onto your arms. These will probably squeeze on there if you if you tried to muscle them on, but I'm not going to. I don't want these on there. Here's the FPV 250. This is the Mystery 250, and you can see here if I line up if I line up this front arm on the motor, it's a little bit close. It's a little bit sm shorter distance to the rear motor. Here we go. Than the FPV 250. But if we compare the front motors, it's a little bit wider here. And the, the reason it's a little bit wider is it allows for six inch propellers to be used on this where an FPV 250 with a cage 
can only use five inch propellers like this one you can see these five inch propellers just barely clear the uh, mounts the mounts here and there we go they barely clear it and from up above it's actually getting in closer to the uh, carbon fiber plate anyway this, this one, if you have an FPP 250 with this, you can only use 5 inch propellers on if you have the cage. If you take off the cage and you just use it like this with no with your uh, with the cage off of there, it has enough room here between here and uh, the cage that comes with it that you could probably fit in a, a 6 inch propeller and probably be okay. I haven't done it yet myself, but I think you could. So the total weight of the frame without the little leg standoffs comes in about 100 and 33.6 let me go ahead and grab these legs and I'll throw these legs on just so we can get uh, a weight of how much all of it does 133.6 throw on the legs and it bumps up whoops it bumps up to 136.8 my two previous quadcopters were both based off of the FPV 250 this one with the cage this one without it this is for FPV this one's just for flying around line of sight so this one is going to be the carbon fiber one and I think this one on the cool scale far outranks both of these two simply because of the way it looks and because it's made of carbon fiber and it looks more like an H instead of an X which makes it look a little more unique and this one is the mystery FP mystery H250 mini FPV this one actually came from Banggood oops I'll put some links in the description if you have any questions about it, let me know, and I will try to do a follow-up video where I actually get to compare this frame to a blackout frame to see um, some of the differences. Anyway, have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll try to answer them as best I can, and thanks for watching.